are back making One Piece Jolly Rogers in Adobe Illustrator based on your comments. Let's get to it. Now, with a One Piece Jolly Roger, which is basically the logo that pirates put onto their flags when they're sailing all about. So with the ones I create, I try to keep it simple. So with the Jolly Roger, it's basically a skull and then you put different types of things around the skull based on the name of your pirate crew. So I can either have just a circle there with the dots for eyes or the dot for the nose, or I can add something below because in the traditional from the show, the traditional Jolly Roger on the One Piece anime and manga, it's shaped kind of differently, but I kind of try to keep it as simple as possible using simple shapes to kind of get the same point across. So usually I start with the circle, the two eyes and the nose, and then I'd look at the name that's been submitted and then I will add things around it. I'll chase some things inside of it. You'll see as we go along in the video where I kind of take the name and then apply it to the skull. Now with the burning hot pirates, I wanted to first do something unique with the eyes. So I kind of made the eyes kind of liquidy and I played on with the skull head. So instead of doing it like a circular, I want to do like a flame type. So you have the flame with the eyes reflecting the heat. And I had the smile there. And then I decided to put the tongue out. So the burning hot pirates with a little sweat bead on the brow. Now with the dreadlock, I was like, how in the world am I gonna <laughs> interpret this dreadlock? But I actually drew one and then did the radial feature and had the dreads kind of surround the skull. And then I drew a couple of strands of hair to make it look naturally like it's a dreadlock with some of the dreads coming down in the front of the face and then put a little smile underneath there. So yeah, the dreadlock, challenging, but once I got it, I got it. The Eclipse Pirates was pretty easy conceptually. It was just getting to a place that I would be comfortable enough sharing. So you have the circle hovering over the circle, which creates the crescent moon shape. You have the eyes and with the eyes, I wanted to kind of make it more aggressive. So I drew some eyebrows, kind of making sure that the eyes, you know, it's, you know, intense. And then I have a smile on the crescent moon side. So the Eclipse Pirates. Now we're thinking Saint, we're thinking Angel. I actually cut the eyes to where it looks like the eyes are closed as if to be in prayer. And then I wanted some wings behind the skull. So I drew the shapes to make it look like a wing. And then of course, Saint Angel gotta have the halo in there. So I have the halo on top. And then I have the smile at the bottom. So you have the saint or angel pirates with this concept. Smile pirates, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. But I actually want to do something special. So I actually cut the eyes so that when you because when you smile, your eye shape is different and your cheeks kind of move upward. And I want the smile to be really big. So I kind of move the eyes and the nose up so that the smile and the skull circle would be super big. And then, you know, just to add a little flair, I put, you know, a couple of swords crossing behind the skull. So it gives it a little bit more traditional pirate look. Keep smiling. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. But before you go, make sure you check out this video to see where this all started.